Alright, so I said I was going to answer some questions. Actually, just uh, two for today. Because um, I said I recorded this and I didn't like the way it turned out because I felt really, I don't know, uneasy because I had uh, Salima with me. And even though she was on, she was off camera. But still. Anyway, so first question was who are my influences? So, um,. So I'm going to use the same answers I had when I filmed this the first time, but I'm just going to be better. <laughs> uh, one is my granny, who passed away when I was, I think, in fifth grade, I believe. Um, it was such a long time ago, but she still is, like, a huge part in my, like, in my heart. And I do everything for her, and all my grandmothers that passed on, just all my relatives, you know. Uh, she raised me, and I don't want to go too detail in my life, but she's a big influence. Um, also, another person in my family that is influenced is uh, my great aunt. She turned 97 this year and renewed her driver's license for three more years, and she's taking care of everyone, whether they're related or not. She's a person I like inspire inspire to be like she's very down to earth and nice and caring and selfless um she could be funny she's a she's a character you know uh sometimes she uses her age to her advantage and I mean I don't blame her I mean she's been on this earth for 97 years um she's independent but I mean kind of dependent on us because we're a very, I don't know, tight-knit family in a way. Um, she's also very, um, I guess, spiritual? I, I guess that's the word? She's very in touch with, you know, uh, Christianity and whatnot, and you can see that in her, and when it matters, like, she's not the type to, like, there's people that, like, are religious and try to, like, force people to be that religion and make them believe and they just keep pushing and pushing and shoving it down your throat and then there's those that are just you know well I believe in this and blah 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 but I'm not gonna force you that way and I guess that's where I got that from is from my, all my family members they're not you know you know hardcore Christian Bible thumpers uh West Pearl Baptist Church those people those crazy people they their their religion's messed up that's a totally different rant but um yeah, she's very, you know, bad. <laughs> so, it's always good. Um, I guess my other influences outside of my family. Uh, is Sion Sono. Uh, when I saw, let's see, the first movie I saw of his was Suicide Club, which was just, wow. Was not expecting into it though but much and then I saw Strain Circus and that blew me away and I've seen that a bajillion times. Uh even though Cosplay did a skit. I was just really into that film and you probably could tell if you read the review to it. Um uh, oh, I'm trying to see more of his movies but they're really hard to find. Uh I guess Wes Craven a little bit. I, I haven't really seen many of his films either. But Scream sticks in my mind the most because it's kind of sort of like a parody of horror movies, but still, you know, your classic slasher with some humor and stuff. I guess um, Takashi Miike too. Um, I guess the, um, the first movie I saw of his was Yuki the Killer, which was recommended to me by a co worker. It was interesting and different and bloody. Um, I've watched a few of his films, and I mean, he's very kind of diverse in a way, but he still has like that signature shock value. And apparently, he has some strange obsession with needles for some reason, because I think the majority of the movies I saw of his had needles, and I hate needles so much. Um, so, here you go. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, the other question was concerning whether the Daki and Miko show is 
dead, live, limbo, whatnot. Um, I did mention it in a video before on my old channel, before it got deleted, that we couldn't have, uh, and in, I think the video is on this channel too, that we can't do Ducky and Miko show anymore. So, for those who missed out on that news, let me re-explain uh, what happened. Ducky and I had an online show, for those who didn't know, we weren't there, and we talked about Asian entertainment. We would review, recommend music, manga, dramas, movies, for the Asian persuasion. And in between, we would pick a music video to play, uh, usually J-Rock, because we thought J-Rock needed more love. And occasionally, we would slip in a K-pop song. It was usually like rain or something. Uh, sometimes, I don't know if we had J-pop in there or not, but that's what we did. And we had about, I think, seven episodes? I'm not sure. Seven or eight episodes. And two of them I never edited and posted online because I was having issues with my editing program on my desktop. And I also was like really busy. And editing takes about, I don't know, eight to twelve hours out of my day. And at the time I worked too and was going to school. So it's kind of hard to like fit that in there and having the patience to edit. Um, these things I don't edit obviously. Um, so anyway, we had an online show for a while, good seven, eight episodes, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure. And I posted them on my old channel, of course, my old channel doesn't exist because of stupid copyright infringement crap. So anyway, for we stopped making them because Ducky's family, the one she was, uh, Ducky's family moved. And she moved all the way, like, I don't know, about an hour, two hours from Dallas. So that's about a uh, good 300 something miles from where I am now to where she is. And we obviously couldn't do a show together. Um, she would always have technical difficulties with her laptop or editing program and stuff because we were supposed to do solo stuff and occasionally we would post on MySpace when MySpace was, you know, the thing. And you see how old this is, but we were slowly, you know, integrating into Facebook because I, I made a group. The group's still there, but it's not really all that active because I stopped posting there since I'm just running my blog, Muddy Cold, and just posting it on my own personal Facebook, which you can... And I, I really don't care. I think it's on the blog. I'm not sure. Um, but so since we're apart, I we thought about you know trying to do collaboration. Like I said, she had technical difficulties and whatnot. So I started doing my own thing with the whole muddy cold birth and occasionally doing vlogs like this and trying to cater to you guys and I wanted to dabble into podcasting but I never went around got around to it and maybe one day I'll still try to do that I'm not sure but anyway hopefully one day Ducky will revive herself back onto the YouTubes uh, she recently got her laptop is getting her laptop fixed I think she's moving again to actual Dallas because of a uh, personal family issues um, so, hi Ducky, whenever you get a chance to see this. Um, so, that's what happened to the show. We just, we separated. We still talk, because I talked to her last night. There's no feud or anything. So I'm just keeping the J-Rock and the Asian entertainment pop culture love on my blog. And occasionally on these things. So, I mean, if you want to keep up with stuff like that. Go to the blog. Great place. Um, just to try to make it that way. So anyway, so I hope that answers your questions on what happened to the Ducky and Miko show. Now, part two of this is I am, I've been contemplating whether to bring it back, like repost them onto this new channel for those who haven't seen it. Sure, a lot of the stuff on there is outdated like we had new segments and stuff and it's like all old news but you can still find you know new 
bands and stuff through it, and new manga or drama series or movies that you've never heard of through it. So, I mean, it's good, you know, reference material. But I'm thinking of reposting it on this channel, but I'm going to edit it differently so I can avoid the whole copyright thing. So I might have to, you know, ditch my opener, even though I really liked it. It was really cool. But I, I think PSC is going to be on my ass for it because I think uh, Alice Nine Clip is in it. But I don't even use, I think, I actually use their music. I think I use Alice Nine's music for the opener too, I'm not sure. I, I don't have the raw file on me anymore. It's on my other computer. I mean, it might be on there, but I, I don't know. So, um, I will be putting a poll up on my blog for you guys to vote on whether I should post these episodes up on on my account, my new account, plus the two episodes that never made it online, I can post those, um, and they've never been edited, so they're just, you know, untouched. <laughs> um, I also thought about, you know, kind of doing my own solo show in this kind of sort of loose format that we had with Ducky and Miko show, but I'm not sure about it as I'm, you know, really busy uh, between posting every two, three days on my blog, plus uh, maintaining my live journal and blogging every now and then, and I, I work now, and then when, I, when I'm not working, I'll be back in school, so I don't know. But for now, I'm just going to put a poll up, and I'll probably leave it up for somewhere in July, if you guys want to see Ducky and Miko show again. Uh, it's old episodes, but I'm going to re-edit them so it's better, more manageable, and risk-free for me, hopefully. And if you ha guys have any more questions for me, like stuff about myself, uh, the Mika 101 stuff, or just things you want me to ramble about, either on vlog or on Michael, you can send those to my email address, and all the information is below in the description with my blog and whatnot. And you guys have a great day, and I'm sorry for rambling for so much. Bye.